In this video, I want to work through this absolute value equation, but you'll notice, of course, we have nested absolute value expressions. So the whole left side is an absolute value, but inside that I have another absolute value. So we're going to tackle this by doing one absolute value at a time. And so since this larger outside absolute value is isolated on this left side and it equals 7, I'm going to go ahead and divide this up as 3 plus the absolute value of 5 minus x equals positive 7, and 3 plus the absolute value of 5 minus x equals negative 7. Okay, so let's deal with this left one first. I have another absolute value, so I need to start by isolating that. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and I have the absolute value of 5 minus x equals 4. Okay, so I'll have to split this one up, so 5 minus x equals positive 4, and 5 minus x equals negative 4. So you kind of see we're going to have multiple answers and not just two. So this one, negative x equals negative 1, so x equals 1. Here, negative x equals negative 9, so x equals 9. So here are two possible values. So let's go ahead and focus on the other side now. When I isolate this absolute value expression, it's the absolute value of 5 minus x equals negative 10. Oh, but we have a problem, because can absolute value ever be negative like this? Well, it can't. So no values here will be usable because this right here has no solution. If it hadn't been negative 10 and if it had been 0 or a positive number, I would have worked this right side exactly like I worked the left side. Okay, so I have two possible values, x equals 1 and x equals 9. So let's go ahead and plug them both back in and see if we get that. So let's start with 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4, the absolute value of 4 is 4, and 3 plus 4 is 7, and the absolute value of 7 is 7. So this one works. So let's try 9. 5 minus 9 is negative 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, and the absolute value of that again is 7. So that one works as well. So we can say here that x equals 1 and 9. And the way we did that is we had to start with the outermost absolute value expression, isolate him, work him like usual, and then kind of whittle our way down until we had all the absolute value expressions taken care of. So there are our two values.